dancing on the ceiling. Hello. Poor dog. Good morning. It's Country Girl 555. Tina. How are you? 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 <laughs> it is Thursday morning. Um, the 11th of August, 2011, and actually it is 20 minutes past noon, but I've been up early, so it's still morning to me, um, and I'm coming on to say I had a great day yesterday, it was absolutely amazing, do you like my hair? Like my hair. Yes, of course, I didn't want to wash it, so it's put up, isn't it? All right, guys, this is what I come on to say. The exercise I did yesterday, the equivalent of a two hour class, was um, actually 96 minutes of full blown aerobic exercise. The rest of it was warm up, stretch, and cool down. Right? So a two hour class in the uh, hour and 36 minutes is actually what you get out of it in cardio, which I think is pretty good. Yesterday was my first time on the elliptical, and after the first three to five minutes, I thought I was absolutely going to die die but I made it through the first five minutes and then I made it on to 10 minutes and then I made it to 11 minutes and noticed that I had gone one mile so I thought to myself I can do this so I thought okay I'll do 10 more minutes let's see if I can press through 10 more minutes and I sweated and after I had already ridden the bike for 63 minutes uh, 60 minutes at in between 8 and 10 point something RPMs um, I did the elliptical and so with that said the next 10 minutes didn't kill me but by then I had done two miles and so seeing the miles clock up on the elliptical give me more uh, encouragement to keep going right right but I did want to jump off then actually I honestly wanted to fall off because my legs were shaking out from under me and I really did want to fall off that machine the only way I got through it was Allison my trainer she came and she was talking to me and the girl beside me and I think she could probably see that I was spent. So she <laughs> she was on, and she's hilarious. She's funny. She was on about the horse fell on her on Monday and wonder how much the horse weighed. And I said, surely a 1,000 pounds. And she said, how much is that in stone? So she had to look that up, 62 stone that horse was. She also did say she wore her her body armor uh, for the last three months that she's had it. And the one day that she didn't put it on, her horse fell on her. Um, she was on vacation all last week, as was I and Mom. And so with that, um, her son, being nine years old, did not want to do anything. He didn't want to go out of the house. He didn't want to go anywhere. So she was just kind of stuck around the house doing this and that. A week off from doing all the work she's she's done, she's qualified in so many different things. And she is quite amazing. She knows a lot about uh, physical therapy and different parts of the body and what exercises are good for different parts of the body. And she's working close with me. And I find that magnificent. I'm not going to make this morning's video too long 
but I did want to say I am really blessed for having her as my personal trainer and for being um, a part of this STEPS program after being turned down for the weight loss surgery for the second time. Um, after uh, Weight Watchers yesterday morning, I, of course, lost 10 pounds. Um, and I, I honestly didn't feel any difference. Uh, I could feel a little bit difference when I put on my shirt. Um, but the most difference was when I put on my, uh, my shorts because the right leg wasn't as swollen. I honestly think that the swelling in the right leg, uh, probably contributed to the major amount of weight that I had gained last week. Um, because I, as I said before, I eat right and I count to everything and I weigh everything. And if you're on Facebook, you will see that I do a daily diary and you'll see that all my foods are pro pointed and a photo has been taken of them and you'll see me throughout the day of the things that I do. Weight Watchers went well. Um, I confronted her on on what happened last week and stayed after class and um, I got what I wanted out of the session. I got uh, my goal weights uh, written down on my new uh, Weight Watchers page and I got extra material. I actually got a weight graph and a weight uh, scale for where you are and where you're going. Uh, those things will be helping me. Um, and as well, she gave me a sticker. Because I had been at my 5% ages ago. And I don't know if she just d doesn't realize in not doing them. You know, I really have a lot of respect for her. But last week when she had complete disappointment in me for, for gaining 8 pounds on top of a 6 pound gain, um, I was at a loss of words, as you know. I didn't know what to think or say or do, and I was contemplating on going to a totally different Weight Watcher meeting or even dropping Weight Watchers at all and going to Slimming World or something else. But I didn't want to start all over with that as I've, got, I've gotten comfortable with Weight Watchers. So I made the change from Thursday night because I have a class on Thursday night to Wednesday morning. So the Wednesday morning Weight Watchers meeting is at 9.30 a.m. and lasts till 10.30 a.m. And uh, that that's great because my I have two classes on Wednesday and they don't start until one o'clock, so that gives me plenty of time to come back, do whatever, go shop, whatever I want to do, and then still make my class, um, which is great. Um, look at my hubby; he's all sick. Can you all say a prayer for him? He's all sick and laying out. He'll be there like five hours or so. Say hi, Mom. Hi, <laughs> Anyways, um, after the Weight Watchers, I uh, come home, got ready, shorts on, tennis shoes on. Had to clean my tennis shoes, by the way, because I wore those on fishing tournament Saturday. And they were horrible. Um, then I went to my class. I was there uh, two hours. At two hours on, my trainers told me to bugger off. She said, you've been here two hours, bugger off. And I said, what did you say? What did you say? I've got that on video and you'll be seeing that. But anyway, after that, come home. My friend Lynn called. Of course, we were going to go to a film. We normally go to the theater on a Tuesday night as it's cheaper. It's only £4.80 on a Tuesday night. Well, it's £7.50 on any other night. 
unless you're seeing a 3D. If you're seeing a 3D on a Tuesday night, it's £6.80, as long as you have your 3D glasses. So we got there, and, well, first of all, I knew I had two hours, and I was exhausted from the gym. I literally couldn't even change clothes. My clothes were soaked all the way through, so I put on my pink um, hoodie, put it on my, put the hoodie on my head, put it on my arms, zipped it all the way up my neck, sat down in this chair, and sat here. And I couldn't move for two hours. I waited until she got here. I waited from 4.30 to 6.30 until she got here. And... <laughs> And then I got up and I said, oh, it was a job to get up. My knees and my legs were in a horrible shape, weren't they, Keith? Mm -hmm. It was terrible. I could hardly get up. I couldn't move. And I had to go pee. I needed to go to the loo, the privy, the toilet, the bathroom, whatever you want to call it, for about an hour. But I couldn't move out of the chair. My legs would not move. They would not move. <laughs> so I waited till she got here at 6.30. And then I went and got dressed. I just threw on some black tights and a brown shirt with a butterfly on that my mama had bought me for Christmas. It's a 4X, but now it actually fits me and hangs like a top should with tights. And you will see the photo of that. Um... Maybe in yesterday's video, and I might put it in today so so that you can see that. But it looked um, quite nice on me, and of course I had to wear a hat to the theater as I normally do. I take it off so that people behind me aren't saying crazy things. <laughs> but um, I got to get off right now because Gino is on the telly, and I love Gino, the Italian cook. And two weeks ago, he was cooking in the nude with only an apron on. Um, the theater was absolutely amazing. The picture was great. We could not see Bridesmaid. It was sold out. So we seen Zookeeper. It was awesome. I'll be back.